Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I would like to share a Roblox Studio tip that I can guarantee will save you hours of work. So let's get started. All right, so what is this tip? Now, this tip is actually using the Roblox Studio command bar. So most of you guys may have seen this underneath your output and have probably never touched it, but I'm here to quickly teach you guys how this works. So if you first of all, if you don't even see this, all you have to do, all you have to do is go to the view tab and click on command bar and you will see this pop up. Now here you can run like any command like print hello and it will just print in the output subscribe to something you should be doing right now. But yeah. Now how can we use this to save, as I said, hours of time? So take a look at this. So I'm currently building a tycoon game on Roblox and I need to set a primary part for all of these models to make one of my animation scripts work. Now I could spend a probably good 10 minutes of my time just going in, choosing a primary part and doing it for this and then doing it for all of the other tycoons and inside of the server storage as well. But we could save a lot of time using the tip I'm about to show you. So what I want you guys to do is just open up any script and pretty much code out how you would normally code setting the primary part for all these models. So what I would do here, uh, if you didn't understand what I said before, is that I would loop through everything inside of the purchased items folder. So for I model in pairs workspace dot tycoons dot tycoon dot purchased items colon get children do just like that and now i would have gotten every part inside of the model so far x part in pairs model colon i'm gonna say get descendants here i'm gonna check if part colon is a base part because if the part is like a script then it won't work then I'm going to say model dot primary primary part is going to be equal to the part and we're just going to break. And so in reality, what this would do, right, is that it would loop through all the models and purchase items, loop through all the parts in each model and then set the primary part for each of those models to one random part or whatever the first part that we see is with the get descendants. Now, how does this script relate to the command bar? So what we can do here is actually rewrite this whole thing in one line. So what I'm going to do is just take every line and kind of tab them out like that. And I'm just going to remove all of the spaces to pretty much make this one line. If you code in one line, which is weird in my opinion, this would work. You can literally run this and this would work. But what we're going to do is pretty much copy this. Now, the reason I do this in a script is because we can actually write it with multiple lines and it's clean and all that. But let's just copy that, paste it in our command bar, and I'm going to hit enter. And you know this worked when you pretty much see the exact same thing you typed in with a little arrow and it just shows up right here. And that's it. Now, if you look inside of the purchase items, you'll see that everything has a primary part, which is super cool. Now, I did this off screen, but I went ahead and did it for all of the tycoons that I have. And as you can see, it works like a charm. And you can do this with any repetitive task, you know, like anchoring. Let's just say, uh, let me use the filter tool here. If I find all of the unanchored parts, which is right here. It's pretty much all the noobs and some other stuff. What you could do is write a quick script to loop through every part in the game and anchor it and it would work. And so you don't have to sit around, you know, like finding every part that's unanchored and just anchoring it. Uh, so as I said, this will save you hours of time. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, make sure to leave that comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.